From WTVW Evansville, this is Channel 7 Eyewitness News with Randy Moore and Polly Van Doren. Weather with Susan Highland and Mike Mallory with sports. Good evening, I'm Rob Spicker. Both Randy and Polly are off again tonight. The Christmas shop. Well, when Eyewitness News continues, hundreds help out some Indianapolis residents clean up their tornado-ruined neighborhood. all for six. Thanks for joining us. See you back here again at 10. Bringer. Norma Rashid. Hot Berry's Weather. And Greg Horde with Sports. Now, live from Crosley Square, this is News 5. Good evening. With Ohio's primary less than a month away now, the Buckeye State is beginning to become an important stop on the campaign trail. Tonight... WAFF 48, Huntsville, Decatur, Shoals, the Tennessee Valley News Channel. Now, with news from the Shoals to Sand Mountain, with newsrooms in Huntsville, Decatur, and Florence, this is the Tennessee Valley News Channel at 5. Tractors and cars, if we're not careful, the kind... WAFF 48, Huntsville, Decatur, Shoals, the Tennessee Valley News Channel. Now, with news from the Shoals to Sand Mountain, with newsrooms in Huntsville, Decatur, and Florence, this is the Tennessee Valley News Channel tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom Kenimer. And I'm Janelle. Did you know, out of every tax dollar you spend on education, one penny winds up in the classroom? But Alabama spends enough of your pennies on prisoners to reach to Australia. And the federal government's yearly budget uses enough pennies to reach to the moon 60,000 times. Our special report, Tax Dollars at Work, tonight at 10 on WAFF 48, the Tennessee Valley News Channel. This only WAFF 48 has Storm Alert, your around-the-clock direct link to the National Weather Service. 48 Storm Alert, the Tennessee Valley's first official word of severe weather. A cop. You're watching the Tennessee Valley News Channel with Tom Kenimer, Jeanette Smith, meteorologist Jay Prater, and Mark Thornhill Sports. This is the Tennessee Valley News Channel. The Tennessee Valley leads the state in recycling efforts. And Decatur is in the forefront with about 80... He was jogging when it struck. Senator Slade Gorton hit by a heart attack. This is Cairo, News Channel 7 at 5. Good evening, everyone. Senator Gordon is in the hospital tonight after suffering a mild heart attack. The Next, health specialist Mickey Flowers shows you how your computer can actually help you feel better, too. You're watching Cairo, News Channel 7 at 5. With Steve Rabel, Margaret Larson, Harry Wappler's weather, and Tony Ventrella with sports. Wow, I had a double clutch there for a minute. That <laughs> 21 you? is exactly what I thought it was. That's cool. This is Cairo. News Channel 7 at 5. 
If you are joining us for our second half hour, let's take a look at some of the stories that made headlines at 5 o'clock. Senator Slade Gore. This is Channel 3. From the television news leader in central Illinois. The Channel 3 News at 10 with Jerry Slade. Suzanne Reed. Judy Fraser Weather. And Chris Whitlick Sports. Good evening. Officials of the United Auto Workers Union. You're watching Channel 15, your public television station for Greater Louisville and Southern Indiana. Tonight, President Clinton prepares to invade Haiti. A new study claims that Southern Illinois will be in deep trouble by the year 2000, and officials report an overwhelming amount of arrest in Mount Vernon today. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Kelly Holt. C-13 News is next. Live from the WCEE-TV studios, it's the C-13 News Tonight. With local, state, national, and international news, Kelly Holt, and KB Hep bringing you the latest scores and the day's highlights. This is the C-13 News Tonight. The United States is laying the political groundwork. Good evening, I'm John McKnight. And I'm Cheryl Case. Those stories right now on Atlanta's News at 10. From WGNX Channel 46, this is Atlanta, Georgia's award-winning News at 10. O.J. Simpson shows a grim reaction in court today to testimony about the bloody corpse of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, the woman he is accused of murdering. It has been a day of dramatic testimony. Now, from Central Illinois News Station, this is WAND News Nightcast. Live with Julie Moore, Mike Browning, Bob Murray Weather, Sports with Tom Rector, and the WAND News Team. President now, on K2 News at 6.30, surveillance video captures a car as it slammed into several people outside the Rose Garden, how the driver was finally stopped. Plus, the rain and winds return to our area. What brought this change and what else is in store for us? And drivers in Washington may soon be required to talk on the phone hands-free What some people in our area think about the idea. Live from K2, the Northwest only all local 630 newscast with Steve Dunn, Deborah Knapp, and microcast weather with Rod Hill. K2 and you, the spirit of the Northwest. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Deborah Knapp. And I'm Dan Tilkin in tonight for Steve Dunn. Our top local story, Clack. From KGW, where the news comes first. This is Northwest News Channel 8 at 10 on PAX. A little bit worried about my car, actually. Now, for Portland, Southwest Washington, and all of Oregon, this is Coin News 6 at 11 p.m. News that's to the point. Rain falls on the Northwest again, bringing welcome relief to some, but for others, still no indication this long, dry season is letting up. Measurable rainfall, but still not enough. Good evening. You're watching Coin News 6 at 11 p.m. with Jeff Gianola and Kelly Day. Coin News 6. News that's to the point. Would you wait in line for days to purchase your dream? Now, K2 News Local Plus at 11. The Northwest only all local news, weather, plus the top five. K2 News Local Plus at 11 starts right now. Another happy homecoming in Washington State. Dozens of more Oregon National Guard soldiers touched down at McCord Air Force Base just hours ago. Good evening. From the north, east, west, south, KPTV presents News Central. <laughs>
Live, Kurt Ludlow, Shauna Parsons, meteorologist Mark Nelson, and Tim Becker Sports. This is the 10 o'clock news. First, live, local. Good Day Oregon starts now on Fox 12 Oregon. Clock News starts now on Fox 12 Oregon. Meantime, things are heating up in Washington. One senator is calling for an end to the impeachment trial. From KGW, where the news comes first, this is Northwest News Channel 8 at 11. Snow lightly blankets the hills of Portland and Vancouver tonight. But KGW TV Portland. Now. Live from Portland, this is News 8 at 11. Good evening. Jurors failed to reach a verdict tonight in the trial of four Los Angeles police officers who beat... This is Kentucky at 24-hour news channel, WHAS 11. Live at 11, from the leader in television news, Donna Lacey, Jeff Lipson, and Beth Andrews. This is Kentucky at news channel, WHAS 11. Gridlock. WTVJ. Stay with us. Channel 4 News. Willard Shepard. Jerry Helfman. Brian Allen. Jerry Ross. Live. This is Channel 4 News at 6. Good evening, everyone. In the news of cases, you're watching WSIL TV3, Harrisburg, Marion, Carbondale, your local news source. You're watching, and now, News 3 at 10 with Terry Caldwell, meteorologist Jim Razor, and Mark Kiesling on sports. Good evening. Another region in southern Illinois is selling. And later, a Kentucky tobacco grower's protest turns hate. I think this event uh, was a disaster, and I think it was an embarrassment. From WPSD, you're waking up to News Channel 6 AM with Linda Hammond, Terry Reed, and Ron Rose. Good morning, everyone. This is News Channel 6 AM. It's Tuesday, August 3rd. Sports, your source for 24-hour sports news and information. News Sports. Center, this is Headline News. I'm Tor Live from Chicago's very own, this is WGN Morning News. It is 7 a.m. on this Tuesday, September 6th. Good morning, Chicago. I'm Sonia Gann. And I'm Dave Eckert. It is 59 degrees up. An agency. Jacques Parizeau will be the next Premier of Quebec. He'll now move to fulfill his biggest promise, taking Quebec out of Canada. I'm a sovereignist before, during, and after elections. This is a CBC Primetime News special report. The Parti Québécois in power. 
from Montreal, here is Peter Mansbridge. Good evening. Well, here we go. I'm great.